Bereshit, Genesis 48. And it came to pass after these things that one told Yosef, Behold, your father is sick. And he took with him at his two sons, at Manasseh and at Ephraim. And one told Yaakov and said, Behold, your son Yosef comes unto you. And Yashalel strengthened himself and sat upon the bed. And Yaakov said unto El Yosef, El Shaddai appeared unto me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me and said unto me, Behold, I will make you fruitful and multiply you and I will make of you a multitude of people and will give at this land to your seed after you for an everlasting possession. And now your two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh, which were born unto you in the land of Mitzrayim, before I came unto you into Mitzrayim, are mine, as Reuven and Shimon, they shall be mine. And your issue, which you beget, rather, which you beget after them, shall be yours, and shall be called after the name of their brethren in their inheritance. And as for me, when I came from Padan Aram, Rachel died by me in the land of Canaan, in the way, when yet there was but a little way to come unto Ephrathah. And I buried her there in the way of Ephrathah. The same is Be'et Lachem. And Yashael beheld Yosef's et sons and said, Who are these? And Yosef said unto his father, These are my sons, whom Elohim has given me in this place. And he said, Bring them, I pray you, unto me, and I will bless them. Now the eyes of Yashael were dim for age, so that he could not see, and he brought them near unto him. And he kissed them and embraced them. And Yasharel said unto El Yosef, I had not thought to see your face. And lo, Elohim has showed me also at your seed. And Yosef brought them out from between his knees and he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Yosef took at them both, at Ephraim, in his right hand toward Yashar'el's left hand and at Manasseh in his left hand toward Yashar'el's left hand. Rather, in his left hand toward Yashar'el's right hand and brought them near unto him. And Yashar'el stretched out at his right hand and laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger and at his left hand upon Manasseh's head, guiding at his hands wittingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed at Yosef and said, Elohim, before whom my fathers Avraham and Yitzhak did walk, the Elohim which fed me all my life long unto this day, the angel which redeemed me from all evil. Bless at the lads, let my name be named on them, and the name of my fathers, Avraham and Yitzhak, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Yosef saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him, and he held up his father's hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. And Yosef said unto his father, Not so, my father, for this is the firstborn. Put your right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son, I know it. He also shall become a people, and he also shall be great. But truly his younger brother shall be greater than he, and his seed shall become a multitude of nations.
And he blessed them that day, saying, In you shall Yasharel bless, saying, Elohim, make you as Ephraim and as Manasheh. And he set at Ephraim before Manasheh. And Yashar El said unto El Yosef, Behold, I die, but Elohim shall be with you and bring you again unto the land of your fathers. Moreover, I have given to you one portion above your brethren, which I took out of the hand of the Amori with my sword and with my bow.